Hello everyone. Today we're going to compare these two multimeter. The T5600 from Fluke and also from Fluke the uh, Fluke 323. And the reason I want to compare them today is because I was um, a little bit skeptical which one to buy for myself because this one looks like a little bit um, nice to carry I see some review that they are very good uh, to have it ready when you want it uh, but also the reason why it made me interesting on this one too is because I saw that this one is true RMS this one is now and this one is more uh, specific when there are some interaction in the system the true RMS try to protect you from those uh, interaction in the, in the currents of the electricity that you are doing that you are measuring um, so I was a little bit skeptical what to buy and then when I get the tool then to to compare to see which one is better for me to choose uh i find now that i like a little bit more the fluke 323 for some reason that i'm going to explain now when we try to compare them uh let's start with the t5 the t5 come in, inside the box it just come with the mirror and the manual and it has a slip that we can inside the, the cap cover so you can put it in, in front of when you are want it to be a little bit more safe uh, to doing any uh, check um, the the switch to choose uh, the option that you want to use is very nice it's a little bit uh, hard not that much but just a little bit just a little bit more hard compared to the uh, 323 the 323 is a little bit more soft this one has a whole bottom that's when you are measuring any uh, could be DC or AC or arm so you can hold your reading in case you have the meter where you cannot see well but then you just press the whole button and you can leave the, the sleeping and you can check it and it will hold it for you just common sense there. Um, so uh, this meter also uh, can choose automatically when you are when you choose ball you go to AC to DC automatically you don't need to to uh, choose which one to check for example if you want to check now AC you just plug the AC and it will tell you there 125 volts so and then if you want to just check right there you want to check the ball for the battery it will tell you a 10 volt battery you know this one may have 9.6 uh, but the 9.6 they just run into a number 10 because this one cannot really hold 10 volt um also have the 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 current we're going to check this in a minute uh let me go now to the also it has the 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 on as for the current there but also it has the ons and the continuity that's another thing that i find now 
that the continuity beep in in in, in connection is better in the 323 too. Condition is good, but it sounds like a little weak. And then sometimes you, you tap, you tap, you tap, and sometimes you cannot even hear it. The other one you can tap a little bit too, and sometimes it doesn't get it right away. But this one is way more weak, less sensitive than the the 323. The 323 comes inside the box with a nice leather uh, uh, bag, so you can carry on. And you see that you can hold it the nice seat so when you open it it comes with a sleeve that you can put on and you find the middle the middle is also like this one it's very solid just like this one they both very solid middle uh they basically the same long just the T uh, five six hundred is just a little bit uh, taller, just a little bit because of the cable. Um, but what I was talking about this, the when you move the 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 connection for each of the setting is very very smooth. You can move it very very easy. That we turn on and also you have both of them they got auto turn off so they will turn off if you leave it on by mistake they will turn off by themselves when some time pass uh, this one also has the whole bottom so when you're doing a, a, any test and you want to hold it this one do it too but this one separate the AC versus the DC so this one separated uh, so you when you're doing AC you have to choose AC when you're doing DC you have to choose DC connection uh, let me show you about the beep for the continuity the continuity is way better this one also being some little cup so you can use it when you want to have a little bit more protections that you're doing some check uh but when you go to do the the continuity test this one is it's just faster and it sounds way much better the connection is way much uh, uh like did it so I totally like better the continuity uh, setting on this one. The also on on DC, the detail of the battery comes a little bit much better because if you can see when you check the ball, instead of give you the ten, it give you the nine point six, nine point seven, nine point six. That's what is this one has. So it's giving a, a, a better reading than the T5. So that's another option that is much better. Another thing that I will say that is better is the, the way to carry. This one is very comfortable because the cable, they come attached to it and you put it here in the back, which is some of the reason why people uh, buy it too, because you can carry there. And the cable is always with you. Another thing is option is that you can put it in the front, and you can do a, a test with one with the two hands. So you just put it there, and you can read the the reading that you're doing, the text that you're doing. So this is also good for that matter. Uh, but at the same time, what I found is the um, to put it on the back that you're going to carry. I don't know, but to me, I think sometimes I found the cable a little bit in the way. Uh, you can put it like this and, like, and, and, and things like that. Uh, but I don't know if it is 
we give a little bit too much uh, uh, problem to the cable when this one is you just take it off and you put it on your back and you put the cable next to it so you put the whole thing inside and you just put the whole thing in there and it doesn't bother anything in, in the back so I think this one also is a little bit good on this one this one is good because it will be ready at any moment so on today we're going to use a fan a regular house fan to see how many currents go through them and then we're going to measure with both of them to see how they do we start with the t5 so the t5 we definitely need to put inside there up to the end to measure the current as you can see if you add low the speed of the fan we're going to do it now we go to five And if we put it more lower, we go to four. Four. Now we're going to check with this one. Eh? Yeah, got the same one to four. If we go back to put it to number three, we go to 0 0.6 just like the other one so the dimension and the currency is basically the same the only thing is that this one uh has a bigger open so you can measure bigger cable the 323 and at the same time i feel like it's more uh you you can move anything on any way and it's still going to give you the, the measure this one it has to be a, the, the the T5. You has to be a little bit more in the right spot to give you the the best rating. Because you see, if you go a little up, but the fan still in the same speed, it give you already one less. You go down, you go to six. So this this one also is is a little bit better on this. At the same time, this one measure only 100 currents of amp, and this one measure as you can see 400 currents around so this one is still a better meter this one is a really good meter to do it quick or if you have two bags one bag there is just to go around check everything just to have idea what is going on this is good for that but to, if you're only going to have one uh, uh, meter I will go for the 323 I think it's a way much better meter. Uh, I hope you have an idea if you have, if you are in the same place that I was. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical which one to, to choose. I think this is a better meter. But this is just my opinion. They both good meter. Thank you. Okay, here are some of the specific of the two meter. T5600 and the Fluke 323. The AC current, the T5 is 100, the 323 is 400. Uh, AC ball and DC ball is 600 for both. Resistance is 1000 for T5 and 4000 for 323. Continuity is so so, like I show you guys in the T5, and it's, it's good in the 323.